Hi, I'm Representative Roger Goodman from the 45th District, representing the communities of Redmond, Kirkland, Woodenville, Duval, and Sammamish on the east side of Seattle. I'm coming to you from the floor of the House of Representatives here at the State Capitol Building in Olympia. The 2016 legislative session has just begun, and we have a lot of work to do in a very short period of time. It's a so-called short session that will end in the middle of March. Principally, we have some budgetary items to handle, how to meet our obligation to fund the public schools. And then we had terrible wildfires last summer, and they were very costly, so we're going to have to find the funds to pay for the wildfire effort. I chair the Public Safety Committee in the House, and we look after public safety, making sure that people are safe, not just in public spaces, actually, but in their homes and in schools. And we have made a lot of progress reducing drunk driving and domestic violence, sexual assault, and human trafficking over the years. This year I have another major bill on domestic violence focusing on repeat domestic violence offenders, House Bill 1632. The bill has had a hearing in my committee and we will be voting it out fairly soon. We want to make sure that repeat domestic violence offenders are properly supervised in the community. We've found that those who commit domestic violence over and over again are some of the most dangerous people in our communities. They'll commit many other violent crimes. So that bill, again, is moving through, and I hope we can get it passed this year. Another one of my more important bills is House Bill 1499, having to do with elder abuse, or abuse of all vulnerable adults. We have too many cases now, particularly with our aging population, of vulnerable adults, older adults, being financially exploited and also physically assaulted without enough accountability for those who perpetrate those crimes. So House Bill 1499, which is the top priority of AARP, and I've also been working closely with the Kirkland Senior Council on this, uh, will toughen the penalties and hold those perpetrators accountable. So this is just the beginning of the session. I'll be coming back to you with other updates over the course of time, but I really want to hear from you. It's very important that I receive emails and phone calls from you to know what your positions are on issues. A personal visit to Olympia is always welcome, and so I know that's a lot of effort, but that really makes a difference because you can put an issue on my radar screen, so to speak. So thank you very much for the privilege of representing you, and I will be back to you again with another update very soon.